What's going on? I got a bunch of knives. Let's talk about one of them, right? What the hell? Well, looky here. Looky, looky, who's got the cookie? Cold Steel Kudo Light. Kudo. Yeah, this, okay, so this is a super budget slip joint piece of badness is what it is. It's got 5CR steel on it. 5CR 13 MOV, I think. About four and a quarter inch blade. It's a big slip joint. Look at this puppy. That's not a puppy, that's a doggy. Look at it, it's got this like dragon looking chrome. I mean, this thing, it's got this weird back lock thing. Obviously, you can see it's got a clip point, nail neck getting ready to plop open. But watch this. You ready? See this, see that rising right there? That's creating the tension. It's got a half stop. There, it's, there it is at half. It's got like a running gazelle on there or something. A kudo, probably. Who knows? I have to Google what a kudo is now. Because maybe a kudo is just a name for like a gazelle or something. Because that's what that looks like. Here, read that. Tell me what it is, what it says. Because I can't read it right here. Says it right there. Hey, you ain't gonna do that. This has got enough tension where you ain't gonna be able to do that free flip. Look at the length of this bad boy. Holy shnikes. Let's get the micrometer out. All right, you ready? Okay, we're gonna do the blade because this thing isn't even big enough to handle. I'm gonna go from the bottom of toil or whatever. You ready for this? So at that choil, 4.1 inches. The handle from tang to the bottom of the handle, 5.77. 4.8 plus 5.77, do the math. Now this doesn't lock. This is just a tension kind of thing. I don't know what it's called, but it creates that tension. Try to hold that blade in place as much as possible so it won't come back on you or, or be loose. It's got a little walk and talk, brothers. You hear that? Not bad. Not bad at all. Losing my voice. <clears throat> The handle itself is cheap plastic. It's that FRN crap, I think. Maybe not even FRN, just cheap plastic. This would be pretty cool if they used better materials on the handle and they probably could fetch more money, but this is a, a gimmicky kind of knife. Now look at this thing. Look how much sticks down. You know I got some meat hooks right here, right? We're looking at an inch and a half. This wouldn't be a bad little camping knife, to be honest with you. Slide it down in one of those little pockets that you got on your backpack. It's an interesting knife. And it was dirt cheap. It's like eight bucks. It is cold steel. The cold steel. Now this is the Kudo Light. It's two point some ounces. Don't ask me to read this. 2.7 ounces. This is very light, but it's still a beast. It's a big knife. Little update. So I got all the knives out, except for one knife. All right. Now, one knife is the Ethan Grow, the Rhino. And it's got the blue, ugly, blue and black scales. That knife is going to be. I'm going to dye the handles all black for 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 the fellow that wanted.
and then I'm going to do a video on that and then I'm going to ship it to them. So I'll be doing the, the G10 scale dyeing video probably in a couple weeks because I don't want him to wait too long for his knife. So there's that. I got everybody else's knives out. I've got my stuff in. Found another, I'm looking right over here. So I got two of these in package. I gave one of them away already, so I had three total. These Crescent, Crescent folding knives, D2 steel, bearings. Regular price, so my sale price was like six bucks. Regular price, eight dollars. That's crazy. That's, you know, I'm a consumer. And I think for consumers. And I want consumers to have the best, trust me. But I don't want to see the market get foiled by stupidity. To me, D2 bearings, um, I think it's aluminum scales. Deep pocket carry. Harpoon blade. High strength aluminum handle. For eight dollars that can't be good for the market I think you still need to they should be they should be selling this night for at least 12 to 18 dollars and that seems to me to be cheap like if I knew I like Crescent isn't a knife company it's a tool company but still it's a quality tool company so that led, lends me to believe that this this should be semi-quality product and i think it is because i took the crescent to dinner i went out to dinner with uh friends my wife and and, and another couple and the and the, the the husband is my buddy billy and he's a, he's kind of a knife guy too and so he goes what, what are you carrying and i go you're not gonna believe this and i pulled out the knife and he looked at the blade and it says crescent on the blade he goes crescent He's a superintendent, like construction. He's, you know, he knows tools. Big construction too. We're talking like he's working on a big hospital right now in downtown Indianapolis. And he's one of the superintendents. And he's like, he goes, Crescent? This is Crescent, like the, the wrench? I go, yeah, like the wrench, it is the company. I don't know if they make this knife, but they're private labeling somebody else's knife that's pretty darn good, with good materials, great materials, when it comes to the budget price that they're selling it at. I go, I paid six bucks, and Billy goes, six bucks, I gotta get one. I go, you here, you got one in your hand. I bought two. He was like, thank you very much. He took that knife without even like flim flamming. He didn't go, well, I couldn't do that. No, he's like, I'll take it. Yeah, I'll take it, because me and him, we're that way. You know, if he's got a knife, he pulls out, I go, I want that knife, Billy. He's like, cheers. And I, thank you. And that's it. No, no BS games. It's straight up. We don't do that too often. And we definitely do it with cheap knives. Because it's fun with cheap knives. Because you're just trading back and forth. You know, oh, here, give me that. He was carrying the Kubi Leaf. Talk about a knife. I got to buy that. I bought that for him. Because I bought like, he gave me a budget. He said, find me three good knives for this price. And he gave me like a hundred bucks or something. And I found three bangers for under a hundred bucks all together. He carries that Kubi Leaf all the time. And he's got some good pocket knives because he and I, 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 I guide him. I'm his knife guide. I'm his spiritual knife guide. I'm his guru. Yeah. I know you guys, I'm not your guru yet necessarily because you guys probably have much better in your collection than Crescent Knives. But it's always good to know that you can pick up some, some of these bangers that are just dog dirt cheap with great materials from a good manufacturer. And you got something that you can really beat on, but you're glad you got it in your pocket. You're not ashamed to even carry it to dinner. I'm your guy. I like that stuff. I like that a lot. That's my favorite thing to do to bleep. To, to, to be completely honest with you, is finding those, those, those nuggets, I call them. But this is a nugget. 
I'm not going to say that this is a nugget, but for eight bucks, I think it was, there's the price for eight bucks. It's not, it's not anything to not say, Hey, whoa, let's just throw it in the cart and take a look and then throw it in the toolbox. Or like I said, in your fishing, in your, in your, in your, in your fishing pouch, in your hunting pack, in your hiking pants, in your work, your, your, you know, your fifth pocket carpenter jeans down along your kneecap slide that sucker in there you pull that out you're night fighting i really want i really wanted to like at this point to be able to go flaka, flaka. it won't though because it's 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 staying true to its word yeah this little funky back brace it looks like just like the force gump of knives right here mm -hmm. you remember that Yep, this thing's gonna do the Elvis dance in your pocket. I'll tell you that right now. Man, this might stick out stick out of your pocket. People are gonna think you're carrying a baton in your pocket. Or you're just happy to see him. That's all I got.